The world is racing toward a new kind of battlefield, one that doesn't involve trenches or tanks, but satellites, lasers, and silent attacks above the atmosphere. At the heart of this unfolding space race is China, whose rapid development of advanced laser weaponry has caught the attention of US military and intelligence agencies. Reports suggest that China is deploying and exporting laser systems that could interfere with, disable, or even permanently destroy American satellites without leaving behind a trace. This shift in technological warfare doesn't just pose military challenges, it threatens to disrupt critical civilian infrastructure worldwide. Welcome to the future of warfare, where battles are fought at the speed of light and sometimes without anyone knowing. Space, the new strategic battleground. While the general public often associates space with astronauts and telescopes, for modern militaries, it's the nerve center for operations. Satellites handle everything from missile tracking to GPS navigation, internet access, surveillance, and global communications. This makes them prime targets in a potential conflict. And China has made significant strides in developing systems that can strike these orbital assets without launching a single missile. Unlike kinetic weapons that blow things up and leave dangerous debris in orbit, laser weapons offer a clean, deniable method of attack. They don't shatter satellites. Instead, they overload or damage the sensitive sensors they rely on, such as infrared detectors, optical cameras, and radar systems. The result? A satellite that can't see, hear, or speak. And sometimes, one that never comes back online. How laser attacks work. Imagine a US surveillance satellite orbiting above the South China Sea, monitoring naval activities. Now picture a ground-based laser in China aiming a concentrated beam at that satellite. Instead of destroying the satellite, the laser floods its sensors with light or heat, rendering them temporarily blind. The data becomes useless, images are blurred or blacked out. And during those minutes or hours of disruption, strategic operations can unfold undetected. These are particularly appealing because they don't provoke international backlash in the same way a physical strike might. When the laser turns off, the satellite might resume normal operations, none the wiser. But the potential for escalation is growing non-destructive laser attacks. From disruption to destruction, China's laser technology is quickly advancing beyond mere interference, moving toward the capability to cause permanent damage to vital satellite systems. The latest development suggests that future laser weapons could be powerful enough to destroy key satellite components such as sensor arrays, communication antennas, and solar panels, all of which are essential for functionality in orbit. For example, targeting a satellite's solar panels could slowly drain its energy supply, eventually rendering it inoperable. A focused laser blast on a sensor array could melt or crack delicate optics, crippling its ability to gather intelligence or capture imagery. What makes these attacks particularly insidious is their invisible nature. They leave no debris or visible damage, making it incredibly difficult for satellite operators to immediately identify the cause of failure. Was it a system malfunction, interference from space weather, or an intentional act of aggression? This ambiguity complicates response efforts, making both diplomatic and military retaliation a challenging proposition. Resilience and Redundancy The United States is actively responding to the growing threat of China's laser weapon advancements, with particular concern voiced by military leaders in the U.S. Space Force recognizing the urgency. The U.S. is investing in multiple resilience strategies aimed at protecting its critical space assets. These include developing sensors capable of withstanding intense heat and light, enhancing satellite shielding, and designing detection systems that can alert operators when a laser attack occurs. However, the most significant shift lies in the transition to distributed satellite constellations. Rather than depending on a small number of large, high-cost satellites, which are easier targets, the U.S. is deploying networks of smaller, cost-effective satellites under the proliferated warfighter space architecture. This system spreads vital capabilities like missile tracking and secure communications across numerous satellites. If one is compromised, others can seamlessly take over, reducing overall vulnerability, enhancing redundancy, and ensuring continuity of operations in the face of an attack. More than a military threat, laser-based space warfare isn't limited to battlefields or military strategy. It has far-reaching implications for civilian life around the globe. Since modern society heavily depends on satellites for daily operations, any attack or disruption in space could trigger a chain reaction of consequences on Earth. For instance, a disabled weather satellite could delay critical storm forecasts, putting lives at risk during natural disasters. Similarly, GPS disruptions could cripple logistics, halt transportation networks, 
and impact everything from shipping to ride-sharing services. Interference with communication satellites could lead to widespread internet and phone outages, affecting both businesses and personal connectivity. These scenarios highlight that space warfare isn't just a defense issue. It's a global infrastructure risk that touches nearly every aspect of modern life. China's Laser Arsenal – What We Know China has developed a range of advanced laser weapons that are not only operational, but have also been exported to allies like Russia and Saudi Arabia. One such system is the Low Altitude Laser Defense System, initially designed to neutralize drones, now fully active and integrated into foreign military operations. Another major advancement is the Silent Hunter, a powerful high-energy laser capable of slicing through steel, deployed in at least eight units by Saudi Arabia to counter aerial threats. Its presence at international defense expos has intensified global discussions about the future of laser warfare. Even more futuristic is China's high-powered microwave weapon, often dubbed the real-life Death Star Laser. Chinese scientists have achieved ultra-precise beam synchronization using cutting-edge optical fiber technology, allowing them to jam or disable satellites, especially US GPS systems. This system combines multiple energy sources to create a devastating focused strike. Designed specifically for space, it represents a significant leap in non kinetic weaponry. Unlike traditional arms, it leaves no debris, making attribution and retaliation far more difficult. Lasers in Action While laser warfare may sound like something from science fiction, several documented incidents prove it's already a reality. In 2018, U.S. Air Force pilots flying near Camp Lemonnier in Djibouti suffered eye injuries after a Chinese laser was allegedly aimed at their C-130 aircraft. The event prompted a formal U.S. diplomatic protest and led to new safety protocols requiring pilots pilots in the area to wear protective eyewear. An earlier incident in 1997 off the Washington coast involved a Canadian military helicopter crew that experienced sudden temporary blindness. The suspected culprit was a Chinese-made ZM-87 laser, possibly fired from a Russian vessel believed to be conducting surveillance. More recently, in 2023, two U.S. Apache helicopters flying near the Korean demilitarized zone were struck by lasers, with intelligence suggesting the use of a Chinese CM-87 Dazzler possibly supplied to North Korea. These cases reveal that laser weapons are no longer theoretical. They're being deployed in real-world geopolitical flashpoints, posing serious risks to both military personnel and international stability. Laser Weapon Regulations International laws governing laser weapons remain murky, leaving room for potential misuse. The Protocol on Blinding Laser Weapons, added to the Geneva Convention in 1998, explicitly prohibits the use of lasers designed to cause permanent blindness. However, several Several loopholes still exist. For instance, lasers intended to disable electronic equipment can inadvertently harm human eyesight. Additionally, dazzlers, devices that temporarily blind or disorient targets, are not explicitly banned despite their potential to cause injury. Military systems like China's Type 99 main battle tank, which uses low-powered lasers to interfere with enemy targeting sensors, could still inflict damage on human eyes if misused. This legal ambiguity provides cover for nations like China and the United States to continue developing and deploying so-called non-lethal laser systems, all while technically remaining within the bounds of international law. A glimpse into the future. As technology advances faster than treaties can adapt, space is transforming into the newest and perhaps most critical domain of warfare. For now, the emphasis is on deterrence and resilience. But the balance of power could shift dramatically if one nation gains a decisive edge in directed energy weapons. The stakes are high, the tools are silent, and the next war may begin not with a bang, but with a beam of light. If you found this deep dive into space warfare and laser weapons fascinating, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel for more cutting edge insights into global defense and emerging tech. Got thoughts on space becoming the next battlefield? Drop a comment below, we'd love to hear from you. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.